Hello folks, I'm Adam Kajawa, director of Varavites Labs. Did you know that cybercriminals are using the promise of information about COVID-19 to spread malware? The Johns Hopkins Center for Systems Science and Engineering created a heat map to help track the spread of COVID-19. According to their website, the map was first shared publicly on January 22nd. It was developed to provide researchers, public health authorities, and the general public with a user-friendly tool to trace the outbreak as it unfolds. All data collected and displayed are made freely available through a GitHub repository. The map can be found at coronavirus.jhu.edu. In a move we should have all seen coming, cybercriminals thought the map was a great idea too and decided to make their own. On March 3rd, the group behind Malware Hunter Team first discovered the fake map application, and on the 9th, Reason Cybersecurity wrote a blog analyzing the threat. The application takes the data and layout directly from the Johns Hopkins map. However, once the map is running, information stealing malware is installed, which includes the Azeralt and Danabot families, first discovered in 2016 and 2018 respectively. Login credentials for your operating system, your bank, or even your Steam account are vulnerable to theft by this form of information stealing malware. The goal of the criminals is to steal data, likely to sell on the black market. However, this infection method allows for installation of any type of threat, from ransomware to botnets. We detect the map with the tag Corona Map, for example, Trojan.Azeralt.Corona Map. Our use of the Corona Map tag is new but we've been detecting the malware that this map installs for a while. If you've encountered this threat, make sure you do an updated scan of all endpoints to remove any malware this map installed. For any system which may have been infected, make sure to change passwords for any accounts that were accessed. And depending on how critical the vulnerable data was, setting up identity theft monitoring. This map is not the sole example of COVID-19 being used to spread threats. Security researchers are tracking newly created domains using the COVID-19 theme. On March 14th, Twitter user Dusty Fresh published a web tracker that found over 3,600 COVID-19 themed domains being registered over the last 24 hours. And unsurprisingly, the world is being flooded by COVID-19 themed phishing campaigns. These emails claim to be from a trusted source and offer guidance and information about COVID-19, but they count on fear, uncertainty, and doubt regarding the virus to ensure that malicious attachments included in these emails are opened. COVID-19 themed emails, spoofing sources like the World Health Organization deliver different malware families, however most have the same goal, information theft. For example, a common payload of these attacks is the GU Loader and form book malware. According to our researchers, GU Loader is used to load the real payload, an information stealing trojan called Formbook, stored in an encoded format on Google Drive. Formbook is one of the most popular info stealers, thanks to its simplicity and its wide range of capabilities, including swiping content from the Windows clipboard, key logging, and stealing browser data. Stolen data is sent back to a command and control server maintained by the threat actor. In addition, We've observed other malware families being pushed by these emails, like the Keylogger Agent Tesla, the Netwire Remote Access Trojan, the Hawkeye Credential Stealer, and most recently, the Netwalker Ransomware. So with all these threats using attention-grabbing news as a hook, what can you or your friends and family do to avoid it? First, identify trusted sources of information. Trusted sources are ones that only provide accurate information without any bias or ulterior motives. Authorities like the Center for Disease Control or the World Health Organization fall into this category. If you think you've received communication from these sources, it should be easy to find the information on their website or from their official social media accounts. Next, pay attention to their intentions. We're all guilty of acting on emotional response, and scammers expect their victims to click without thinking when presented with certain stimulus. For example, an SMS message labeled as coronavirus in your area Download app for more info, count on that emotional response to be effective, be it from fear, fascination, or anger. Before you click, think about what information is being offered and what the benefit is to whomever is trying to send it to you. Use that as your guide to decide whether or not you want to interact with that information. Finally, beef up your ability to detect malware. Let's face it, criminals use these email campaigns because they work. So don't count on user discretion to protect you completely. The malware we're primarily seeing being pushed is already heavily detected by most endpoint security vendors. Therefore, keeping updated security software running on your system is an effective method of preventing these and other threats. Tools that prevent exploits or provide some kind of rollback functionality are especially useful in this situation. 
Just like COVID-19, it's important not to panic, but to stay alert. For more information about the scams and attacks we discussed in this video, check out the Mauerbytes Labs blog, where we discuss COVID-19 themed attacks, explain the malware they drop, and provide additional guidance on staying safe and productive during this pandemic. For all of us at Mauerbytes, thanks for watching. Please stay alert, take care of each other, stay safe, and I'll catch you next time.